<sighs> this minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. God dang it. That I would be hitting. But not yet. We only win when I'm pitching, which is the, well, we also win when I'm not pitching, but we have, we're way better when I'm pitching. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation and, uh, of Minor League yo, Baseball. Tonight, the first Hampshire. of this four-game weekend Fisher set between Cats. the Hartford Yard Goats and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. It's baseball. It's... Man, I'm just ready to ball. pitch. Stepping in, Douglas Dennison. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter, Douglas Dennison. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, they got beat up on the homestand, yeah, losing yeah, record in front of the home crowd. Never good, but I always used to but say sometimes it's good to get on the road. Remove one, yourself, get out to a restaurant, see a different That's city, it. shower it off, and try and fight in front of some hostile fans. Now the one and one pitch. Count is one and two now. The one, two, and another foul ball. Bouncer to the left side. Benitez takes it in. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. Vero, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? Maddie, this team's lineup is dead last in batting average. And I tell you what, that does not bode well for the rest of the season. If you do not have that professional exactly. at-bats up and down the lineup, or at sure. least six to seven guys, yeah. It is eventually going to catch up to you. Kirk Lyon is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Yep, that was strike. I love how everybody just gets up and leaves. Like, they already know what's going to happen. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. At the beginning of the game. One out, nobody on. Got compressed. The one, two. Band on my throwing arm. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Because why not? Here we go. My slurp. Again, he sends it out of play. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two is a high drive to left back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone. That's all right. Well, we'll take a look at the pitch here, and you could see what they're trying to do you tie can. him up inside. That pitch oh, wasn't that, that bad, but credit to the man right swinging field. the bat. He was Carlo. able to turn on it and drive it out of here. Miranda. Moreno is there. What two down. You don't always throw no hitters. Into the box game. now. Jack Back Leonard. Forth. He'll get to take his Those first cuts here. Yes. He swung on and missed. Leonard. It's 0 and 1. From 10 to this pitcher better get that ball down because he doesn't have enough velocity to live up in the zone with that fastball. If he continues to miss there, He's not going to get a few of these back. Here's the 0-2. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Tom Rogers. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. 0-1 the count. 
Slurve, and he jumps ahead here, 0 and 2. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Not behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And guys, this team took it on the chin last that game. Exists. And I think a lot had to the do with the fact baseman. that they're not playing great oh. defense. Committed two oh, yeah. errors in that one oh, in some big out. opportune times, and it came back to bite them. Something to look forward to today. This is skied into short left center. Okay. Cologne okay. on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Into the box for his first that at bat in this one, Connie Hippern. Basement. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate Hipper. right now. One ball, no strikes to count. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cologne is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Robert Bradshaw, hitless in four tries that's in the ball game job. yesterday. Robert. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The 0-2 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Played on the backhand. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now at the plate, Douglas Dennison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's got it. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Kirk Lyon, and Leading they'll need him to get something down. going here. Hit the other field. way out toward right Kirk. field. Moving oh, under yeah. it below. And that's the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Carlos Miranda. Here's the, right the first team. pitch to him. Carlo. Circle change is Blue cut right on down. and missed, 0-1. 5-1 mm -hmm. our score as we play the fourth here. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. <laughs> down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Try to do anything with it. Boy, after that base knock right there, D Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Miranda leads off first with one away. And it's fouled away. Mm, tried to run that two-seamer back to the outside corner. Good pitch, but it misses one and two. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam right movement to it. Two gone. Striding in once again, Tom Rogers. Number seven, Tom Rogers. First pitch coming, here it is. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. Oh. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning what is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man. 
leading off the inning, Juan Reyes. And they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Behind 0-2 now. The 0-2 delivery. The next 0-2 pitch to him misses outside. Great arm action on that two-strike change right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another one-two, and a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Connie Hipper. He flew out in his last at-bat. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a pitch swung on and foul tip right off the mask. Really it sounded good. like of the home plate umpire, and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Fouled away. Let's get that. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One ball, one strike to count. I love how some of these guys swing way early. No contact there, and it's 1 and 2. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Here he comes again, 1-2. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Richard Floyd. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes. And he had him set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch. And on four pitches, he becomes out number one. Next will be the designated hitter, Douglas Dennison. First delivery to him on the way to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just oh, yeah. ate him up, and he couldn't recover in time. No balls and a strike to count. Dennison, base runner at first with one out. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. He's like, wait, what? Did I actually strike out? Like he was striding in. Happen. Carlos Miranda. Now batting, right fielder. First Carlos. pitch coming. Here it is. Miranda. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. He's been pitching really well so far in this one. As we cruise into the middle innings, one of the big reasons why: 80% first pitch strike ratio. If he continues that, he might be able to finish this one. 
Still no balls and two strikes. Two out with the man at first. Here it comes, 0-2. Count remains at 0-2. McMahon over to his right and that retires the side one error in the inning but it doesn't hurt him at the plate Jack Leonard do up are the four five and six hitters and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going yeah only one run on the board so far for them they just haven't had consistently good at bats I know it goes without saying but best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike that's why this guy's been able to stay in this game pounding the zone the 1-1 one, one. to 1 and 2 now. But that's it. Gave up the he yeah. struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Oh. Oh. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see Batters. in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in now, Juan Reyes. No well, hits Number in two, two trips to the plate Second for him in the ball game. Whoa. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. And that's over three and one. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. I love how I make him feel The next like, three, oh, two. He's going to walk me. Ground ball and sent back up the seven. middle. And right. that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready once again, Connie Hippern. We're in the eighth now, and we nothing's go. changed out there on the mound. What? Impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. The First pitch Number coming. Five. Here it is. Shortstop. And he'll just Robert. fight this one off as it's Red chopped foul. Ball. Lays off the circle change there. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Probably was more like 10,000, but everybody started leaving. Knowing that I don't think he's no going to triple up on change up right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Cologne will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Like I said. Digging in, Richard Floyd, and they're down to their final four outs now here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A high fastball is in there. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two-thirds. And he's going to empty the bucket right here. He sees the finish line, Dan, and he's got a chance at this. Boy, there's no well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Your Doug Singleton is ready, now, and he'll take the ball. From on paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never right, looked back. How about to a two-
don't really look at them. Just scroll right through them. A minor leaguer is assigned temporarily to a new role. Oof. Not what I want to do, but... As you can see, we're at the bottom of the league. And I know how it some says, like, oh, well, Gabe. You're a Mike a Rogers. Weeks. Takes the yeah, ball I'm now in inning number nine, nine, looking to close the door. Out. Mike Rogers. So I only throw fastballs to get ready. That's what you should do. Warm up your arm. All you guys can leave. You already know you guys are can't leave, so I don't know why you're still here unless you're fans of us. Then thanks. Striding in to start the ninth, Leading William well, Getz, as they'll look to get that's something going here and even this William game up. Yes. First pitch on its way. In there, strike one. Grounded to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first yeah, out of the inning. Let's just stick with it. Get him out. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Miranda. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on the slur. Strike one. Holy moly. Ready on 0 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these there things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Carlos Miranda goes quietly, and they've got only one the out left. Here's nine. the first pitch to him. Yes. No balls in one strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Hartford...
Closer, the only thing I hate about being a closer is when you're able to hit. They uh bring someone in for you, whether you want them to or not. It's like, come on. They're gonna be 20 and 12. We're gonna be 14 and 19 after this. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Hartford, I number 99. Leading right. off the inning, Christian Roger. Arias. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against Leading a closer, the but this lineup is setting up perfectly right the now fielder. as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Arias. Rogers. Just 18 years old, has been enjoying a great season, and fans have noticed he's currently leading all closers in all-star votes. Yeah, Maddie, not I surprised this guy is on the top of the all-star game voting, but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on by the fans, so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the all-star game right now. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he won't offer it that too high, one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. The one-two is a breaking ball in off the plate. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now batting. He comes first set. Here's the nothing and nothing Jesse. pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Two out, nobody on. This one's flared toward left center. Sheldon ranging into the outfield. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. A two-nothing finish today. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious Yard Goat. Two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Hartford. So stepping in, Jim Stafford. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And it's quickly 0-2. 0-2 here at it comes. Fouled off. Lifted down the line and left. See, I got And this will wind up a foul ball. Here comes another 0-2. Holds off on the slurve that time, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Stepping up now, Otis Johnston. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The 0-1. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. And it's fouled away. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Jonas Castellano will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Too high, 1-0. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. The one one home. And this will be fouled away. Two run game, last of the night with two away. Fouled away. Mm. 
Murray, yeah. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon. gonna play close a couple more games out then call it close the video a player receives a check-in from one of his coaches No outs. Okay. Wow. We're winning. So, no problem. I can let the dude first score. Who cares? Six to us. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the yard goat. Number 99. Settling in now, Ryan Harvey. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late light. I can either try striking out the side or just try making him hit into the dope butt. Him up. Let's just do that. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. Stepping into the box, Gary McLeod. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Runners at the corners, two men out. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, <laughs> and it took six line. here to get the job done, but the hey, they'll do whatever. <sighs> One more. Then it's calling it. Not for the day, but just. A player new to his double A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. After this save coming up, I'll uh, do it end the video then be back with another one right afterwards probably Ladies Mike Rogers takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door 
So Double coming to the dog. plate, Pablo Peralta. Oh. And these guys oh, are sure. making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. One and one to count. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And tonight's final, seven to three. The Yard Goats used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. For the victorious Mike Rogers enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Leading up for the Sea Dogs. First pitch coming, here it is. Wow, bottom Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Tony Renda steps into the box. His line, not pretty. 0 for 6 in the game. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Here comes the high cheese. And he fouls this one off. And we've got to bring it back down to the earth. Swing and a liner. And he'll break through with a That's solid right. knock here, his first of the ball game. That's got to be a little fun. frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks, and the batting averages are flowing right now, but nobody's come up with that big runner in scoring the position, two-out no, kind of feel Have that really is going to break this game but open. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Strike out like an idiot. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed Just opportunity. Like Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Sam Travis goes quietly, and they've got only one out left. Manzanillo. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. This is foul Come right on. side. Rinda is off of first with two away. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Charles Sexton gets the win. Now, since we're heading back to a clubhouse, I'll end it here.